and it would scream, and I mean scream. Y'all know what? Y'all know what's going on? <laughs> he's open! He's open! <laughs> and everybody in the whole place would turn around. Yeah, it, it would be that ring beating on the table. <laughs> or he'd look at the girl who is having the breakup and say, literally this. I've heard him say this. He said, "You're better off without it. You're beautiful. I think you're crazy working here anyway. Instead, you ought to be a model." <laughs> no, I said that. <laughs> and that's word for word. I've heard him say that. <laughs> Vulnerability. Did Vic ever hide his sadness, his regrets, his broken heart? Remember when his cat passed away? We all knew it. He let you know it. He was a soft. He really was a softy. How many people in this room have been told by Vic that he loved you? Even more than they were offended by him. Right. Hmm. His transparency, his vulnerability, he never hid his joy, his enthusiasm, his passion, his fears, or his faults. There weren't veils to pull back, no onion to skin to find the oh. love he had for you. Vic let you know it. He let you know it often. That's how Vic pulled off being Vic. Mm -hmm. Because of the love he had for everybody. The Bible tells us, a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. We know Vic has a great brother here. And he loved saying very much. Spoke of him and his nephew a ton. We always saw pictures of Vic's nephew. But how can the Bible tell us there's a friend that's closer than a brother then? You see, a man can have many friends. Just look at Facebook. We all have friends in this day of social media. A man has a great many friends when he has something material to offer them, or if he's cool enough that people just want to run in the crowd with him. That friend the Bible talks about being closer than a brother, that friend that is there during the tough times, friend that wants nothing but the best for you, the friend that is there out of genuine love and friendship. I'm talking to you, Victor. I hope you know I tried my hardest to be that friend that is closer than a brother, the one that loved you for just Vic being Vic. Victor, my dear friend, you have no idea how much Lynn and I are going to miss you. How our home away from home will always feel different without you being here. How we will always think of you and remember you with the love even closer than a brother. Victor, I love you. I miss you greatly. First of all, I want to thank you all for coming here and Mark and Taco for having this event with us. Um, hopefully no one's going to have a speech like that again. <laughs> I just want everyone to tell a good story about Victor, a funny one, because we all have one. Um, we're going to wait on Stan before um, we do the speeches, but if you guys just let me know if you have one, and uh, I'll make sure I line you up. Um, for those of you wondering what happened, uh, Victor has been sick for a little bit, and um, he literally had a big heart. And he went peacefully and lovingly. That's all I actually can say. Shot time. Shot time. Shot time. By the way, that's Bar fireball. Has anyone ever seen Victor finish a shot? That's going to get this shot, but Victor's not for us.